And this competition replay is from the user. Bear with me while I mangle this pronunciation. Domstadkurl. Or Domstadkurl. No idea. We're just going to call him Dom. You can read his name. But he's driving the Chinese 110 on a standard battle on the northwest. 110 is a T8 heavy tank for the Chinese. This thing is very nice. It's got that piked front like the Soviet tanks, like the IS-3 there. Sorry, I've just had a complete brain meltdown and forgot what some of the tanks were called. And he is going to be heading straight up the northern flank here. I'm going to be heading up and... Most of the team seems to be heading this way. So this is possibly going to set up a situation where they get into trouble and the southern flank gets wiped out very, very quickly. And then they have to carousel around before the base gets captured here. And Dom going to be heading all the way along here. Not quite seeing anybody just yet. Does spot out a few tanks. We've got that Knerven coming up the far left-hand side and the Jagdtiger 88 coming through the centre. Looks like they've got a good smattering of tanks here and there which are going to at least spot anybody that comes in. Dom just going to be pushing on, coming up to support the KV-13 from the rear here. Going to be just heading across. Nope, decides to cut left and just go across the train tracks. Looks like there's only this Knerven here. It looks like he may have free reign just to do what he likes. As Knevin's pushing forward as he only sees this KV-13. Missed that shot there. He did fire fully on the move. The Knevin does manage to get some damage in return. Got to be careful because this British tank does fire very, very quickly. Although, it doesn't matter how quick he fires when you take out his ammo rack for 1,177 points of damage. Excellent, excellent piece of luck there to get him out of the battle very, very quickly. And then the IS-2 falls as well, so going to continue to push on. Takes a little bit of track damage from that SU-100. SU-122-44 not being able to do anything in return. At least the Knevin's being good-natured in the chat, just posting lol there. As nobody expects to get ammo racked on the second hit of the battle. I'm going to be continuing to push forward here. Finds the SU-100, gets a lovely shot on the move at him. He changed his mind and fires at the charging KV-13 instead. Dom's just not going to allow him to get away. Comes in, decides to fire at him rather than ramming him. Doesn't want to lose any hit points himself. Now he's going to push on to the centre of the map. Can see a Chi Ri there and a Yag Tiger 88 on his far right hand side. In fact, there's quite a lot of enemy tanks here, but they're all sort of spread out. Nobody's really concentrated in any kind of location. Does find the side of a T28 prototype, does a good job taking out his track and getting some damage. Looks like he's used his repair kit, got an 8 second reload on his own gun. Tries to take out his track from the front there, but just about misses that one. T28 prototype has managed to spin all the way around now, so Dom's going to have to try and find his weak spot. Goes for the flat front part of the turret there and gets the shot through for the damage to take him out. And that's kill number three. Going to head further down now into the center of the map. Got a Jagdtiger 88 on his right hand side. Looks like the Jagdtiger 88 is in sniper mode looking far off in the distance as he hasn't spotted Dom here. He takes two big hits. He's still looking in the distance. Just manages to reverse in time to not take that other hit. Does stop and he's going to try and get some damage onto whoever it is he's looking at in the distance. But gives up his life for not being too aware of what's going on. It's a great shot through the track of that T-34. And he can just drop it back while he reloads. Hopefully that T-34 decides to select a different target. As he's taking damage from every single direction here. He's only got a little bit of hit points left. Dom's able to get a shot and take him out for kill number four. It looks like the allies have found the rat's nest here. They are pushing in on that left-hand side in the north. Dom's going to see who he can find. Probably should go and help his allies there. That's quite a lot of enemy tanks. The 4502A in his platoon. Only got 400 hit points there. He's not going to be able to survive very long. SU-12244 looks like he's making a run for it. He's got a T-37 on his right-hand side. And he gets taken out. So the enemy team has nowhere to run here. Finds a Tiger 1. Going to easily get shots through his side. Thinking about going for the Type 59 instead. But he was just able to get into cover in time. Tiger 1 takes a big hit. 
Gonna see if he can get another one here. He doesn't really know what he's doing. I think his turret may be stuck. Or maybe he just doesn't know how to use mouse and keyboard at the same time. He's looking all over the place and he gets taken out now for kill number 5. E25 making a run for it across the top of the base there. He's probably going to be coming down that side road to try and break out of this little situation that's going on. Gets a shot at the T37 but doesn't quite land that one. Takes a hit in the side from this Cromwell. Got to be careful because good Cromwell drivers will wreck your day with their speed and agility. He gets his track taken out. Uses his repair kit just to fix that one. Cromwell doesn't go for a second tracking shot. And he's just going to get tracked all the way around. He's able to take him out for kill number six. And that just leaves his T37 and E25. E25 last spotted making a run down south. He was taking some hits from the front here. Almost certainly going to be that T-37. He fired and ran. But now he's going to have to try and make a move away from that Type 59. Let's his gun close in. Doesn't quite land that one. Going to try and see if he can ram the T-37. But he's got nowhere near the speed. T-37 lands one good shot. One is all Dom needs. He takes him out for kill number seven. And that just leaves this E-25. Who was last spotted making a run for it across the south of the map. He's got seven kills. It would be very nice if he could get one more on this E25 to get his Radley Walters medal. And to be honest, even if he doesn't, he's had a stonking game with five and a half thousand points of damage. As E25 makes another run for it. Although he's headed off by that T34, he gets taken out. That's GG and the victory. And that's an awesome, awesome game there from Don Stadka. Picking himself up seven kills and five and a half thousand points of damage and really being instrumental in his team's victory. Flanking around the side of the enemy team and just picking them apart. So awesome replay from you. Thank you very much for sending that one in.